I started doing my community service hours down here. So he had me like cleaning up the uh, gym and stuff, picking up trash and stuff, or even just coming in just to train or whatever. And then he would just look out for me on community service hours and stuff because I was here in the gym all day. I like literally wake up at fucking nine o'clock, come here and just be here till closing. So I was just hit, chilling in the gym all day and that's how I built a relationship with Armin. My name is Armin Van Dam. Um, I'm the owner of City Boxing together with my uh, son, Bo. Everybody in here makes the, makes the environment. And by the way we run our gym and the way, the way we, we feel like, you know, um, social life should be lived, um, that's how we run our gym. Um, nobody comes in here with an attitude. There's no in intimidation in here. We don't talk down on kids. Uh, everything is positive, up and up. And we have some of the best fighters in the world in here. Um, David Benavides was in here, Caleb Plant, Teofimo Lopez, Jesse Vargas, Nonito Denier. The uh, list goes on and on and on. Here at City Boxing Club, we offer training for all levels of fighters. I mean, we have people that just want to do to stay in shape or fans of the sport, all the way to amateur fighters, professional fighters. We got people on the Olympic team that train in here, several time world champions. I mean, everybody and anybody can train in here. The gym is like a temple, and I'm sure it feels that way for a lot of people too, is because once you come inside these walls, like everything that's happening outside, all your drama, your work stresses, bills you got to pay, all that disappears, you know, when you're just here focusing on yourself, getting better. So yeah, it's like, this is my safe place, I guess. Uh, look, uh, 2015, we started working with underprivileged kids from the justice system. Uh, started driving them home, starting getting involved, really getting involved with those kids. And uh, it's got poverty written all over it, injustice written all over it. So we started training the kids and we saw that we could make a huge change in their environment, financially, emotionally, and um, just moving forward in life. So what keeps me going, that keeps me going. Because if I can save one more kid, if I can end the prison system for juvenile justice for kids in the juvenile justice system, I'm gonna do it. It changed my life in a big way, man. <laughs> like I said, I was out there doing anything to fucking get a dollar and stuff. I was just waking up, just going on about the day, just trying to figure out how to, what, the, what the hell I was going to do. Now I actually got fucking, I have like a set, a set schedule. Every day I wake up, you know I got to be at the gym at a certain time. It's like discipline. You got to discipline yourself. So it's like a lot more discipline. It's helping me financially, stably, mentally. I'm staying out of trouble, not even thinking about certain shit. Uh, so we found out a way and we created a system that um, is probably going to end the juvenile justice system, so that motivates me.